Reflective of the changing nature of the NBA. No Ewing, no Jordan, no Barkley, no Elijah. One never has the transition been so abrupt. Never has it gone to such a young group. And nine first time all stars seven on the east as Joey Crawford throws it up. Crawford, Joe Forte, and Terry Durham, the officials for the all star tilt. Alley -oop. And Carter from Iverson. The penetration by Allen Iverson and Vince Carter just floating gracefully. The most spectacular play of the afternoon. Shaquille O'Neal. Morning, good defense. And Eddie Jones the other way, three on one. And Carter again. A replay from last night. What we saw last night was taking it to the next level. Now, I think the biggest problem for all these players is learning how to Allen Iverson. Vince Carter is showing a level of maturity, skill level. Jack walking up to the scoring table with those electric neon new <laughs> shoes. Dunk.net, that's what they're called, and that's where they're available. Dunk.net. <laughs> i got to check to make sure you don't have a pair on right now. Wait, wait, wait. He's, he's on the payroll for several people here today. <laughs> that is not true. Just reporting facts, uh, personal elements in people's lives. It's all starting to become very clear to me now. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it, if it is, be sure and clue me in. <laughs> Jason Kidd trying to take up a charge. Carter inside. And the crowd starting to get into it a bit. Two-point game. Vince Carter could not play in the Western Conference as a forward. Why? Because he'd have to play against Tim Duncan all the time. He'd have to play against Kevin Garnett, Carl Malone. Iverson. Iverson with another pretty assist, four-tenths of a second remaining. Well, on high-definition television, you can see <laughs> that that was clearly a violation of the rules of life, human decency, <laughs> and the NBA. <laughs> Carter able to hit it. Carter. And yeah, Vince Carter, who sat for quite some time, able to put it in. Final seconds. And the West will emerge victorious as <laughs> Vince Carter <laughs> drives again fancy. And the final score, the West 137 and East 126. Mark, the thing I love so much about this is about a week before the All-Star game, you'll always hear guys posturing about, you know, I'm tired. I could use the rest. You know, I really don't want to go there. And then you see these guys get here and the smile on their face. They get in that locker room and the adrenaline rush of coming out and performing against the best players in the NBA. It's a high you can't even explain, and it's fun to see these guys. You know this is going to be fun for them. West with a commanding 15-2 lead with 6.45 remaining of the first. Mason, Iverson with the open shot, and put home by Carter. Barnett and Duncan with the putback. Tim Duncan of the San Antonio Spurs. With eight points, he was the co-MVP last season. Iverson, Allen Iverson, beginning to heat up. He now has six points. It's a tough break for Philly once again, dealing with injuries as Vince Carter with his highlight film. That's something they wanted to see last night, and Vince said he'll show it today. Vince Carter gets baseline, and big guys don't get over there soon enough. Kobe said, where is my help? And they go, we're not helping you on this. And his partner in Shaq, who normally guards the basket, you watch his reaction, he throws Gary Payton back, and he says, whoa, that's nasty. Doug, that would have won the slam dunk <laughs> yes, it would have. last night. Without, <laughs> they would have closed it up. Oh, Latrell Sprewell with his first field goal. Antonio. Davis. Antonio Davis with his third field goal. He has six points. It's now 47-41. Coming up at halftime as Carter is able to hit and draws the foul. Ahmad will be joined on the set by Kevin Johnson. Here's a kid pushing it. Weber. Mason with the rebound. Eluding Garnett and Duncan and then delivers. Carter with the windmill. I think that jumper's knee is feeling better. Look at Shaq. <laughs> I think he's happy that he's sitting over there watching right now. This is what people want to see. The great pass from Anthony Mason. Jason Kidd said, uh-uh, I'm not getting near this. Vince Carter makes it look so easy.
you know, Marv, I was with him most of the summer when he was over playing in the Olympics, and I, you know, I had no idea at all that he was sick. And uh, I mean, you couldn't see it in the way he played or the way he practiced, the way he came to do things every day. But I will tell you this: and being around him most of the summer, I got to see such a different side of him. We see the warrior, we see his competitiveness. But I got to see a, a gentle spirit and a really a, a great guy. We, we all wish him well and get back out as soon as possible. Yes, here's Allen able to finish in the East in the midst of a run. This coming Tuesday night, the Sacramento Kings travel to Salt Lake City to face the Utah Jazz. That's an 8 o'clock Eastern start. So it's now at 11-1 run off the bucket by Carter. 13 points for Carter. Here's Kidd. And uh, make it rebound number 20. The last player with 20 rebounds in an All-Star game. Charles Barkley with 21 in 1991. 100 to 93. The East hanging around. Carter now has 16 points. Bryant. Yes. Kobe Bryant with two clutch buckets. He now has 17. The West leads by three. Marbury for three. Yes. And he's tied the game at 108. Bryant. Oh, that is unbelievable. Matumbo ran out at him. Three unbelievable shots in a row here by Kobe Bryant. A stirring finish to this 50th NBA All-Star game. The West by two. Marbury for three again. Stephon Marbury has given the East a one-point lead. All right, here's Kidd. The East up by one. Down to five, Marbury guarding Bryant. Down to three, Marbury trying to get to Bryant. Duncan came up short, and it's it's over. The East comes from 21 down to defeat the West. They outscore the West 41-21 in the fourth quarter. Tim Duncan, or no, Duncan had stepped in, but Yao Ming will go. I guess Ben Wallace of the Detroit Pistons, and it's controlled by the West. Well, Michael, all weekend your teammates have been trying to give up their starting spot. You politely have said thanks, but no thanks. What changed here at the last minute, and did Vince Carter surprise you? Uh, that's exactly what happened. Vince surprised me. I mean, I, I told him, as I told the rest of the players, I mean, I started 13 times. I didn't need to start the 14th time, and, you know, they were adamant about getting me to start. And, you know, Vince actually came to me right before we went out, and said he, he would rather, he would love it for me to take his spot. And, you know, I mean, he, he, was, he was very respectful. You know, I think he took some undue punishment. You know, all during his week, you know, about him being very honorable to the fans. And, you know, even at the, at, at the end when he gave it up, I mean, I really didn't want him to back down from what he actually stood for. And, and, and I supported him in that sense. But, you know, he wanted me to take his spot. And I thought it was very gracious of him, very respectful. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Mark. All right, Craig, there are also intriguing dynamics going on with Michael Jordan playing for Isaiah Thomas. You recall in Michael's all-star day. Oh, Vince Carter on the stuff. West in the midst of a 14-2 run. Vince Carter with the touch. Hits from downtown. He just used up all the shots in a three-point competition. He's, his arm is tired. Vince Carter, who has come off the bench in his nine minutes, has scored seven points. In a certain sense, uh, this finally is a, an opportunity for Stephon Marbury to get rid of some of the criticism that took place. He said he could not tune into the NBA Finals last June until the fourth and final round. Marbury lost it fourth and final game I should say and here is part of the crowd looking for the they wanted more from Vince they wanted something out of the slam dunk competition Jordan guarded by Marion checking the clock Jordan with four three not over the head Duncan with the rebound and we go to overtime well we're down to 10 seconds remaining in overtime and Michael has the ball again guarded by Sean Marion the fadeaway Wallace applying the pressure on the inbound. It's broken up by Kidd, played by Brown, who fires and is fouled. With one second remaining, he was fouled in three-point territory. He'll have three shot attempts. Only one second left. And he has tied.
at the game at 138. And Jason Kidd looking for the catch and shoot right here. He finds Jordan, and the shot this time is blocked by Marion. And for the first time in NBA All-Star history, we go to double overtime. Final seconds. And uh, this one is over in double OT for the first time in NBA All-Star history. 155-145. East has won 33. The West has won 19. As you go back over the course of this series, the West has won three of the last four. This is Carter. Jermaine O'Neal, Carter of the Toronto Raptors, able to knock it down. The Lakers started the season at 18-3. That's a, a three-pointer by uh, Carter. Lakers have struggled. Many distractions, starting with Kobe's legal difficulties, the feud between Shaq and, and Kobe, plus the injuries uh, suffered by Kobe, Shaq, Carter, and Rick Fox. Oh, the glass. And Vince Carter puts it down. <laughs> Shaq throwing one off the glass. Here's Iverson putting it up. Well, if the game gets in the open court, the East has a chance because they are electric. They're finishing. Vince Carter's got off to a great start. And now Francis with the open shot. Way too much time. Just the kind you miss. Iverson setting it up for Carter. That quadriceps strain feels better. This, this is uh, the NBA has to be very proud of this game today, Mark. And, and the best basketball we saw was in the fourth yes. quarter. No question that both teams got serious down the stretch, and the West has defeated the East 136 to 132. So the West has now won four of the last five. All right, it is Yao Ming and Shaquille O'Neal. And the 54th NBA All-Star game is underway. Allen Iverson with the step on Kobe Bryant. And here's Vince Carter for three. Now you can see right away Tim Duncan guarding Carter. Very unfamiliar with having to cover a guy who's going to shoot a lot of three-pointers. So the matchup's already a factor here. You are lightheaded. You know? <laughs> Trying to get my second win. All right, here's Carter for three. Vince Carter of the New Jersey Nets. Nash for three. Ogalskis with the save. Back comes Carter. Here's Carter putting. <laughs> Vince Carter goes class to himself. So the East Eye leads by one. The crowd still talking about that solo dash by Carter. Carter for three. Vince Carter has done it from inside, from outside. He now has the one. So the East. As the feet of the West, 125 to 115. Well, we're ready to go with Yao Ming and Shaquille O'Neal. The jump center, Bavetta will put it in the air. East has won 34, the West has won 20. Last year in Denver, the East came up with a victory. Allen Iverson, who has the ball, was the MVP. Kobe Bryant, guarded by Vince Carter, who snatched it out of the air, and here's Wade ahead of the field. Wayne Wade with the stuff. One of the things when you coach in a game like this, Marv, you talk to the guys, let's not have a lot of unforced errors, a lot of turnovers. We've already seen two careless passes. Iverson. And it's put home on the follow by Carter. Vince Carter averaging 24 points, six rebounds, four assists for the Nets. Elton Brand. And Wallace lost sight of it. Brand and Wallace took it away. Bosch with the lob for Carter! Whoa! And here is Chris Bosch with a lob to Vince Carter. So uh, Vince Carter with a spectacular play off the nice little touch pass. Parker played by Iverson. Here's Parker. Nice move by Parker. He is so fast with that basketball. Just a blur to the basket. There's another guy who's pretty fast with the ball as well, Allen Iverson. O'Neal gets inside. Right. T Mac gonna isolate here. All right, McGrady played by James. McGrady. That was deflected short. Kept alive by Bryant. And stolen by Rasheed Wallace and Matt O'Gill. Here's Iverson putting off the glass. 
And again, the stuff is missed by Vince Carter. But the East has come away with the victory. What if he would have missed that dunk and would have bounced back to a guy for a three-point shot? <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal, Tim Duncan on the opening tip. And it's volleyballed by Shaq to LeBron. But for Mike D'Antoni, this is like perfect basketball. Here's the alley here from oh, part of it. No one on Dwight Howard. And the West now leads 31-25. The lead for Anthony. West opening up a 10-point lead. And this time, Carter spins and connects. I wish I could do that just one time. Just once. Forget about as many times. Just once. 17 and 8 without Yao. And McGrady's been the difference. I mean, he's the one guy on that team who can really create a shot, create offense for his teammates. What a remarkable season it's been. The last two years, they've fallen apart without those guys. Oh, there you have it. Off the backboard. You knew it's going to happen at least once. Phillips with the setup for Carter. Getting back to that, that's the standings in that Southeast division. What makes that most interesting, I think, is that Vince Carter with the hook shot. Miami, if they don't win the division, they're going to have a low seed. And you could potentially see a Detroit-Miami matchup early in the playoffs. And you know, most people feel those are the two best teams in the conference. Looking like last year, uh, Dallas and San Antonio in the semifinals. And O'Neal from Vince Carter. So the final score, the West 153, the East 132.